what's good youtube welcome back to another video uh, another monday another mental health monday uh thank you for stopping by again if this is your first time uh, appreciate you welcome uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button while you're here though um but today um and continue on can I get my words straight? In continuing on with the uh, mental health vlog, um, this is just another uh, video. Uh, I think I've come to, uh, I guess, decision to post a video every week. Um, so it'll be weekly, uh, every Monday, since it is Mental Health Monday. Um, so yeah, I'll be posting a video in here every week. Um, the topics will change. Um, and if there are any topics that you want to see in the videos, um, just put them down in the comment section. I'll uh, promise I'll read it. And uh, if it's something that I believe will be beneficial to the vlog, I'll definitely answer that question. Um, but if it's not, then I'll like answer it like offline with you. So either way, your question going to get answered. Um, but yeah, so this week, um, I don't really have a specific i guess like last week was the heart to heart with my pop so it's nothing like that this is just kind of like an update and then i'll tell you like how my week was going and then a couple things that i learned in therapy and then yeah so yeah just like a chill quick little update video uh so yeah today is monday uh lad this past weekend was homecoming so I did uh, enjoy some homecoming festivities um, post COVID. Uh, we were actually able to have an in-person homecoming at Norfolk State University. Uh, so yeah, that was fun. Um, but prior to that, I had therapy on a Friday. So I have therapy on Fridays and then I'll be posting these on Monday. So that kind of works out. So, um, yeah, therapy was great. Uh, we had a good conversation. Uh, I told her about the um, video. Well, I didn't tell her about the video, but I told her about the trip that I took uh, to Florida to talk to my dad. Uh, yeah, so we talked about that. That was good. She also told she came she came up with it like to uh, it would be good to write letters um, to my family members. And that's kind of like the thought process that I already had before. But instead, like for my pops, I didn't write a letter. I just went down there like willy nilly, just off the cuff, like I'm about to pop up, pop up. Uh, so yeah, that was, that was different. Uh, we talked about that. She, she basically told me that I took a lot of courage to do that. So yeah. Uh, and then we talked about like the letter thing came up. So I felt like I'm on the right track, I guess. Like, because that's something that I thought about doing myself was like writing the letters and then giving them the letters and then like, or I read the letter to them and just basically like my feelings and feelings about certain situations and different stuff like that. So yeah, I feel like I'm on the right track. Um, I definitely do need to write a letter for my mom because I feel like, I don't know, like me and my dad was able to have a conversation like like a normal conversation and then it just led into like the other stuff but that's because we were like talking like football and stuff like that like i mean my mom doesn't watch football so it's kind of i don't know we have to find I, i'll probably take her skating we might go skating and out to dinner or something like that because she likes to skate i like to skate so we might do that and then go out to dinner and talk but yeah We'll see. I'll see. Uh, I don't know yet. That's just some ideas. But definitely, um, we talked about that in therapy, um, that it would be more difficult for me to have that conversation with my mom. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess some other things I learned 
from therapy i guess i can put that in the video um automatic thoughts that's what we went over uh this week automatic thoughts and uh, automatic thoughts is basically a thought you have about a certain situation but it's like an automatic thought so it's like something that you either said or like just continuously think so it becomes like second nature you're not even realizing that you're thinking that um yeah so she gave me like a little worksheet uh i can read like the worksheet so you can get a better understanding of automatic thoughts so it says our thoughts control how we feel about ourselves and the world around us positive thoughts lead us to feeling good and negative thoughts can put us down sometimes our thoughts happen so quickly that we fail to notice them but they can still affect our mood these are called automatic thoughts oftentimes our automatic thoughts are negative and irrational identifying these negative automatic thoughts and replacing them with new rational thoughts can improve our mood so yeah like i said uh, automatic thought is something uh that you probably don't even notice but it's a thought that you've cemented in your head to believe about a certain situation so basically what the worksheet does is you put that automatic thought down and then it's like a series of different questions that you go through and basically at the end of that automatic thought after you've gone through the whole process um, you see if that automatic thought is still the same or you realize that you made that thought up yourself so yeah it's a good it's a good exercise uh it was it's kind of difficult for me because i like she's like she stated like and even on the paperwork it stated like the automatic thoughts are automatic so you don't even realize that you're having that thought so it's, it's it takes like it takes time for you to basically realize that it's an automatic thought uh and then once you realize it and able to identify it, then you can do like the process and then at the end the outcome should be most times will be that a different thought um so yeah that was good um what else like i said this was gonna be a short video um i hope you guys enjoyed the video with my pops uh i can leave the link down below um but all these videos will be in a playlist um the vlog playlist so you can go back and watch all the videos uh yeah i think that's gonna be it for this week um but like i said i do i will be posting a video every monday i'll start doing topics uh and so you'll know exactly what the video is about it'll be a topic i'll do a little research um and yeah, after the video, you can comment if you learned something, uh, anything else that you wanted to uh, learn about that topic or just certain stuff like that. Uh, yeah, but definitely going to be starting posting videos weekly. Uh, yeah, this is. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you, uh, I uh, submitted my application to Howard uh, for the School of Social Work. So now I'm just waiting to hear back from them uh and if everything goes well if i get accepted i'll be starting uh next spring uh yeah so i'm excited about that a little nervous a little anxious um but yeah uh, at the same time I, I i think i've done everything on my end uh i wrote the papers uh so yeah i, I I've, I've got the recommendation letters i did everything on my end uh now it's it's in their hands so uh, yes or no that's the only two options um and then if it's a no uh we'll move from there but right now we're not even in that mindset that's a no uh i'm in the mindset that i will get accepted um i've already started looking at uh like some howard sweatshirts to wear when i get my acceptance to take a picture in so yeah i'm in the mindset that i will get accepted um does that mindset mindset shift every now and then uh yes but at the same time i gotta remain positive um and 
just like manifest that I will get accepted and I doubt myself because I put in the work uh, I put in the work um, yeah so I just gotta believe in myself uh yeah that's gonna be it for this week uh appreciate y'all for stopping by tuning in if you like the video please do me a solid hit that like button um if you're new to the channel do me a solid hit that subscribe button uh yeah until next week uh remember spread love not hate and i'll see y'all next time peace